Good morning and welcome to Breastfeeding Buddies. My name is Natasha. I'm a registered dietitian and a lactation specialist. And so today I will be talking to you about paste bottle feeding. But first I want you to know that if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to comment anytime during this video and we'll respond to your questions. So today I wanna to talk about paste bottle feeding. Some of you maybe have heard about this when you were in the hospital working with lactation and some of you haven't heard about it at all. So I'm gonna show the way that most of us are accustomed to feeding a baby and then some tips on paste bottle feeding. The reason I wanna talk about paste bottle feeding today is because um, primarily if you are breastfeeding and you are offering expressed breast milk or if you're doing a triple feeding plan and perhaps even offering formula, you need to know a safe way and an effective way to offer the bottle and still being able to return the baby to the breast. So that's why paste bottle feeding, one of the many reasons why paste bottle feeding is so important. So I'll demonstrate it and then give a little more information to follow up. Okay, so most of us grew up, let me situate the baby here. Most of us grew up just feeding our cousins babies like this. You learned from grandma to feed a baby like this. You just kind of dunk, plug and chug. You may even put them in a car seat and just prop that bottle up, but that's not safe definitely not safe to prop a bottle in a car seat. But this also isn't the best way for a baby to feed because you, the baby doesn't get a chance to breathe and to pause. The bottle is different from the breast and the milk will just keep flowing. And so the baby's only option is to keep drinking or to choke. So when we pace bottle feed, I'm gonna bring the baby back up. So this is a very different position. Instead of having the baby down, in the bottle like this, you bring the baby up a little bit more and you introduce the bottle um, parallel with the floor. And you just barely, I've got something in the tip of the nipple so it's not spraying all over the baby. However, you just put enough milk in the bottle that you've filled the nipple. Instead of like this, you've just filled the nipple. Okay, so what you're going to do is the same as with your breast. You tickle, tickle, tickle and then the baby will open up and accept the bottle. And again, just fill up enough that the baby is getting some milk in the bottle. You can also keep the bottle parallel. So what this does is the baby has to work a little bit in order to get the milk to come into the mouth. Oftentimes, you'll see a baby drinking, drinking, and then they pause and you'll hear maybe a <sighs> They're ready for a break. When you see that, you can just drop the bottle down and the bottle, the nipple stays in the baby's mouth so that the baby doesn't get frustrated and feel like, oh no, where's the bottle? I'm still hungry and they may get upset. So you can keep the nipple in the bottle or in their mouth and lower the bottle. Frequently then, you'll see the baby once they're ready to eat, start sucking. And it's okay for them to start sucking with the milk still down. You'll see them take a couple of sucks and you just lift the bottle back up. So once again, you can see that the nipple isn't totally filled. The baby isn't being dunked. This way, the baby learns to work out a little bit, just like they have to do at your breast. The other benefit of this is that when you don't just immediately offer the bottle and you do the tickle tickle and wait for the baby to start sucking and then offer it, the baby learns to wait a second that the milk doesn't instantly come, just like it won't instantly come at your breast, and then you begin to offer the milk. The other benefit here is that when a baby is nursing, they have to use their, uh, the muscles in their face and in their, um, in their mouth and their tongue to bring the milk into their mouth. What's different with the bottle is you plug and gravity does all the work. However, if they're working at it a little bit, their mouth still um, does the same motions and they're having to learn again to use all of these muscles here to draw in the milk. So this is very helpful in getting the baby to return back to the breast even once you've introduced a bottle. Um, trying to think if there are other things that I want to point out about that. Please post any questions that you may have. Um, but I think that that wraps up our session. I want to